So we'll look at verse 7 today in uh, the Ten Commandments as we're looking at Exodus chapter 20. Listen to what verse 7 says. You must not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse His name. So it says you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, right? Depending on what translation you're looking at. So what does this mean? What does it mean to take the Lord's name in vain? I think number one, profanity, right? Using the name of God in a blaspheming and a cursing fashion, right? You want to avoid this. This is not to be done in any way. I think also we think about um, using it in a frivolous way, um, in a superficial and kind of, you know, a, a, a dumb way. Like, don't, don't use God's name in that fashion. And also, um, one thing that I was reading I thought was very interesting is using the name of God in a hypocritical way. Claiming the name of God, but then acting in a way that disgraces Him. So, claiming to be a follower of God, but then disgracing Him by our actions, right? We are using God's name as we put that name on ourselves in now in a hypocritical fashion. So, He, he communicated, Jesus did this idea of how we honor God's name at the very start of the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6. He said, Hallowed be thy name, right? I love the, the King James language. That's how I memorize as a child. Hallowed be thy name. And then he says, the Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse his name. So the interesting thing is this led to some very interesting applications among the ancient Jewish people and even some Jewish people still today in the fact that they didn't even want to write out God's name, right? Yahweh was the name, the, the personal name of God, and it was never even really said. Right? The people didn't even say it. Um, and some people didn't want to use the name of God, period, not even write it down, unless maybe they were quoting Scripture, because they didn't want to slip up and use His name in an improper fashion. And so I don't think that we have to go to that length, but I do think that we need to be very honoring of the name of God. You know, I know this is Old Testament, Old Covenant, but there are, there are moral applications. And then also as I think about this and look at this, there's just the honor and respect that we should have for who our God is, that we should treat His name with respect even though we're not standing in front of Mount Sinai, we may not be bound by the Old Covenant law. We are under the New Covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ. But still, we need to honor the name of God in our speech and in our actions. Have a great day.